This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Storm Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Moonlight Sonata First Movement by Beethoven. I'll be teaching you the first section in today's lesson, give you a preview before we start learning it. It goes like this, check it out. Okay, so that's the first section we're going to learn. Let's get right into it. Break it up into parts so it's easier to learn. So the first part, right hand, we have, let me see. We're going to break it up to nine parts. It's easier to learn. So the first part, right hand consists of the second inversion of C-sharp minor. Arpeggios going up for four times. So just G-sharp. Okay, so this G-sharp is located below middle C. Middle C is here. It's the G-sharp below there. Okay, so let's start. So we have the G sharp, C sharp, E, which is the second inversion of C sharp minor of the three notes. And then you repeat these three notes for four times, third time and fourth time. That is for the first part. Let's learn it once again. This goes G sharp, C sharp, E, two, three, four. Like that. Left hand, we have C sharp octave. Okay. So just one octave below the middle C. Middle C was here. Okay. So it's just one note, C sharp octave. Two hands together goes like this. So first note on both hands together. So together, two, three, four. Like that. There you go. And that's it for the first part. So together, two, three, four. Uh, now moving on. The second part, right hand's exactly the same as the first part. So it's just the same G sharp, C sharp, E four times. However, the left hand, instead of C sharp, this time is B octave bass note. The two hands together, same concept as the first part, just both hands, first notes together. So together, two, three, four. That's it for the second part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes together, two, three, four. Moving on to the third part. Third part writing continues. It goes A, C sharp, E for two times. A, C sharp, E again. And then change to A, D, F sharp twice as well. So A, D, F sharp. So that's it for the right hand here. So we have an A major kind of arpeggio for two times. A, C sharp, E twice. And then a second inversion of D major, which is A, D, F sharp twice as well. Like that. Left hand, we have A bass note octave and F sharp octave down here. Okay, so these two elements, so A octave and F sharp octave, the two hands together goes like this. It goes together. And the next one together. That's it for the third part. Let's learn it again. So together, two, together, two. Like that. Moving on to the fourth part. Fourth part writing continues. Goes G sharp and then B sharp, which is C. And then up to F sharp and then back down to G sharp, C sharp, E. And then G sharp, C sharp, D sharp. And then down to F sharp, B sharp, which is C. And then D sharp. So yeah. Finally, this like part is a little bit harder compared to the other parts since all the notes are like kind of different, the patterns, the group of three notes. The G sharp, B sharp, F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, B sharp, D sharp. Like that for the right hand. Okay, left hand, we just have, uh, let me see, yep. So we have G sharp octave twice. Okay, so two hands together goes like this. So it just goes together. And the next one together. Like that. There you go. Let's learn it again. It goes together. Together. Like that. There you go. 
So that's the fourth part. Moving on to the fifth part. The fifth part right hand continues. It goes E, G sharp, C sharp, and then go up in the version to G sharp, C sharp, E, and repeat that G sharp, C sharp, E again. And then we have octave G sharp, and then C sharp, E, and then single note G sharp. Okay, where it's like a second melody on top. The main melody is coming up. Okay, so let's learn it again. So it's E, G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp, E, and then G sharp octave, C sharp, E, and then single G sharp here. All right, left hand, we just have a triple note. We have C sharp, G sharp, C sharp. Okay, it's like an octave with a fifth, the G sharp in between. Two hands together goes like this, just the first note on both hands together, and you hold the left hand while you play the right hand together. Like that. There you go, let's learn it again. It goes together. Like that. Moving on to the sixth part, Ryan continues. It goes, uh, let me see, six, seven, eight, nine, yep. Uh, it goes G sharp octave, and then D sharp, F sharp, and then G sharp, D sharp, F sharp again for the third time. And then G sharp octave, and then D sharp, F sharp, and then G sharp single note, like that. But you can see like the, 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 the three notes pattern is always G sharp, D sharp, F sharp there. Okay, so it's like G sharp octave, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp octave, D sharp, F sharp, and then G sharp, like that. Left hand, we have a triple note here. We have B sharp, G sharp, B sharp. Okay, so B sharp is essentially C. Okay, you can see. Now two hands together goes like this. Just the first note on both hands together, and you hold the left hand whilst the right hand is playing. So together. Like that. There you go. Let's learn it again. So it goes together. Like that. Moving on to the seventh part. Ryan continues. Goes G sharp octave. And then C sharp E. G sharp C sharp E. And then A octave. C sharp F sharp. A C sharp F sharp. Like that for the right hand. Let's learn it again. So it goes G sharp octave, and then C sharp E, G sharp C sharp E, A octave, C sharp F sharp, A C sharp F sharp, like that. Okay, so actually you should hold the top notes actually like this. Yeah, it's kind of like the melody on top. Okay, left hand we have C sharp octave down to F sharp octave. These two elements, so C sharp octave and F sharp octave in mind. Two hands together goes like this. So it goes. Skid on, on, yeah. So like every six note you play, it's gonna, it's gonna. Moving on to the eighth part, right hand continues, G sharp octave, and then B E G sharp B E, and then A F sharp double note, and then B D sharp, and then this is big, big stretch here, A and B, which is more than an octave and then B, D sharp. Okay, so some of you guys might not be able to reach that, the bigger than the octave like stretch. Okay, what you can do for that, okay, you can kind of like either do it, you can um, substitute the A with your left hand afterwards, or you can just like, like delay it like that, like jump to it, split it, okay? But anyways, so yeah, so it's just G sharp octave B E G sharp B E A F sharp double note B D sharp and then the A B big stretch B D sharp. Left hand we just have B octave twice for the left hand. The two hands together goes like this. Together, together, together. Like that. Okay, there you go. So together, So as I said, if you can't reach that, if you want to replace it with the left hand, you can. You can like. Do that okay yeah you can do that yeah you can do that like replace you can just jump up with the left hand so then... you can do that okay use the left hand to help or else you can just split it you can do this like that okay so yeah pick one of those options but probably the using the left hand to substitute would be better so it doesn't do, like sound too like delayed like that okay yeah anyways let's move on to the ninth and last part of this section so ninth part last part of this section goes like this goes 
uh, G sharp E double note. So this and then B E G sharp B E third time fourth time. So the lower G sharp B E is just played a few times four times there. So G sharp E double note and then B E G sharp B E three four. Yeah, left hand we just have E octave bass note. Okay. With that in mind, two hands together goes like this. First note on both hands together. So together, hold the left hand and whilst you play the right hand. Beautiful. Let's learn it again. So just together. There you go. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this main first section. Okay. But the second section is really beautiful as well. After like learning this first section here, the next lesson will go on to like that it goes to like a more minor switch etc okay so in that next lesson we will learn that second section and we'll keep going and learn the whole piece so make sure to check it out link is in the description but as for now that is pretty much it for today's lesson If you like how I teach in this video, how I break everything up step by step, part by part, you will most likely find another song that you'd like to learn by typing in your favorite song name followed by Amos Doll in the search bar because I have over 10,000 piano videos on YouTube. If you want to go further beyond into learning music theory, playing by ear and improvisation, you can learn from my piano courses on my website bestpianomethod.com linked in my description and bio. There, you will also find my song request services where you can request any song of your choice for me to make into a cover, a lesson, or sheet music. As for now, enjoy the rest of my content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, and see you all next time.